No, I don't waste no time How are you doing guys and welcome back to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, social media marketing online coach. I teach social media marketing to you guys and I have my own agency alongside that where we basically help mainly e-commerce stores get more sales and more customers through Facebook advertising. Now, a lot of you guys that watch my channel are still relatively in the startup phase meaning that you don't really have a predictable way of doing outreach or booking calls for your agency. And then alongside that, you still are not very uh, familiar and or experienced with the fulfillment part, which means getting results for your clients, which of course is okay. You know, if um, this channel is something that helps you get started, then happy days. Um, but anyway, one of the main questions that I still get is how to do outreach at scale. So, of course, one of the most effective flows of doing outreach is, uh, in my opinion, still email outreach, okay? You know, I've seen a lot of videos, um, or I've actually been sent a few videos, let me put it that way, because uh, I don't really watch a lot of social media marketing content on YouTube anymore. Um, but every now and again, I will get sent a video from those who are in the coaching program uh, where, you know, someone has uploaded a video on YouTube and basically those in the coaching group want to know my opinion on it. And it's stuff like Instagram DM video outreach and all mad stuff like that. And I always ask them, I said, do you really think the person who has recorded this video, I'm not going to name any names, but the person who has recorded this video, do you really think that person sits there recording individual videos for Instagram DM over and over again in, you know, in order to do outreach? You know, there is basically one or two things at play here. Either number one, this person has not got an agency and is just promoting the business model. Or number two, they have a more effective way of doing outreach, but they just don't want you to know about it. So my method of outreach at the moment in full transparency is paid traffic. Alongside that, we still do a lot of email outreach, which is also the method of outreach that I teach in my lifestyle design program, so my paid mentorship program. And what we do in terms of email outreach is called the hybrid outreach system, which uh, basically goes as follows. So what I'll do now is map out the normal method of outreach and then i'll show you the hybrid outreach system or basically the layout of the hybrid outreach system so normal method of outreach is i probably should have gone with something else in the drawer and app for this but email so you send an email to a potential client um prior to that obviously you know you find an email so you go onto the internet um, no idea why that is an internet sign but fair enough okay so you go onto the internet you find an email you do, uh, you send that email to the clients and then what I've noticed to be the most effective way of doing outreach is rather than pitching the service, rather than trying to sell the service, um, rather than even selling the meeting is just to spark interest and start a conversation. So what I like to do is I like to send them a message saying, hey, I've got some ideas for you. Is it okay if I send you over a quick video explaining what I mean? Okay, if they reply yes, then what we do is we send a Loom video. Why do we not send Loom video right off the bat? Because again, you know, you're gonna be sending individual Loom videos to those who first might not be interested, second might not even watch the video, and third might not even receive the email. So what we do is we send an email first, then once they reply and say, yes, yeah, sure, that sounds good, then you send over the video. Another reason why this is a more effective way of doing things is because Loom, is still relatively unknown. So yes, within our industry, we know what Loom is. If you use Gmail and you've got the Loom Gmail plugin, you can have like a little thumbnail um, as part of like the Loom video. But if you're just sending a random Loom video, it, it comes in a Loom link, right? And not everyone that, um, you know, basically not a lot of people will just click on a random link that they get in an email from someone that they've never even heard of. So if you tell them, listen, I'm gonna send you a video and they say yes to the video, they are more likely to actually click on that Loom video and watch it, okay? So the Loom video, you provide value. You basically tell them what is possible. So you don't tell them how to do it, of course. You just say what's possible. You pique their interest by saying, listen, you know, you're doing X, Y, Z. Um, I would recommend doing other things. And then you cut the Loom video short. You say, okay, I'm rambling on here. I'm gonna wrap up this video here. If you wanna know more, I've got some more ideas for you. So if you find this interesting, just let me know and maybe we can set up a meeting or a call. Okay, then from there, you um, 
basically, you know, set up a meeting. What should we do as a meeting icon? Um, no idea what the, we just do the Z for Zoom, yeah, because most of you guys are using Zoom. So find the email, send the email, send the Loom video, and then you pitch the Zoom call. Then from there, you try and close the deal, okay? And then of course, you've got the, the one call close or the two call close, and I've got individual videos on that. Okay, so this is basically the flow from start to finish. Now, of course, if you're sending out one email, how likely is it that that person is going to go through this flow from start to finish and actually become a paying client? It's relatively small. So what we like to do is that first initial email, we like to send that at scale, okay? So we send this to a lot of people because let's say 1% of everyone, you know, basically uh, converts, then you'll need to send out 100 emails to get one person through. And of course, you know, the drop-offs are always going to be extremely severe going through this flow. So the more emails that you can have on the front end, the higher the likelihood of you getting, of course, approvals for the Loom video, people that want to actually hop on that Zoom call with you and actually people that become your clients. Okay, so the more emails you send, the higher the chance of you actually getting a client, okay? And then of course, now that the argument, yeah, but if you send out mass emails, you know, it's not gonna be personalized and stuff like that yet. There are ways around that, guys. Come on, you know, it's, it's 2021 now. We can act, we can, there's, there are ways of sending emails at scale where you can still create the impression that it's personalized. You know, if you want, you can have entire like icebreakers and like I've seen you in XYZ article and stuff like that, but still have it automated and at scale, okay? Just think. Don't do anything that a robot can do, okay? So please do not give me that argument of, oh yeah, if you send it out at scale, it's not gonna be personalized, okay? So mass email, okay? So you need to figure out a way to gather mass emails. Then from there, you need another piece of software. Um, so what should we do here? Just put the S for software. You need another piece of software that allows you to send those emails, okay? So first you need to gather emails at scale, then you need to be able to send emails at scale. And then from there, it's basically the same thing, right? So you send the Loom video. There we go. So a little video here. Then you've got your Zoom call. I'm just going to do a Z now. Um, and then, of course, you go for the close. And again, if you want to know how to close a deal, I've got videos on that on my YouTube channel that are completely free. So feel free to watch them. Okay, so this is basically the, the new flow. Okay, so we need to automate this. Um, Let's, this is a little cog, a little automation. That's the worst cog in the world, isn't it? Is there a way to use icons on this? Let me see. Shapes. No. Okay, let's just assume that that's a little sentence cog, okay? Um, automate that. Automate the sending of the emails. So, little automation there. There we go. And then, of course, the Loom videos. Can you automate or outsource that? Yes, you can. You can, like I said, you can you can outsource and delegate this. So O or D, the Loom videos, or you can do it yourself. It's completely up to you, of course. But at that point, because you're doing this at scale, you'll increase the amount of Looms that you need to send, but people are actually interested. And then, of course, the Zoom call, same again. You can outsource or delegate that as well. And then, of course, your clients it's up to you again if you want to do the fulfillment yourself, which I highly recommend. Why? Because if you can do the fulfillment yourself, you will also know if your media buyers are doing a good job or not. So if you understand how to get results for your clients, from there you will know either how to get results for your clients yourself, which means that you'll have a higher profit margin, you'll be able to pocket a larger amount of money, you'll basically be developing a higher income skill as well. And to be fair, moving forward, the whole outsourcing to people on other work is becoming a bit outdated now. Uh, but if you do still want to choose that route, if you have that knowledge on how to do it, you'll know if that person's doing a good job or not, okay? And that is a very, very big mistake that I made when starting out. I had no idea how to run the ads myself. So I outsourced it, yes, for cheap. I pocketed a profit margin, but I had no idea if that guy was doing a good job or not. Turns out he wasn't. So yes, he was cheap, but he had no idea what he was doing. And now that I understand how to run ads myself, first of all, I'm getting a much better result for my clients. Second of all, even now when I'm still doing, uh, when I'm looking for backup media buyers, I've yet to find someone that is actually as good as I am, if not better. So I'm not going to actually outsource this. And third of all, like I said, if we do actually find someone that is good enough to take on the fulfillment part of the agency, I'll be able to know if that person is doing a good job or not. Okay, so what we need to do is automate and or outsource and or delegate the email gathering then automate and or outsource and or delegate 
um, the sending of the emails at scale. And then like I said, you can automate, uh, you can outsource or delegate the uh, process of sending looms and outsource or delegate the process of the, the sales calls, okay? What I'm going to show you guys today is a method to gather emails at scale, okay? There are a bunch of softwares for this. There is one that I'm going to show you guys in just a second, which is one that we use and I highly recommend. Um, and if you don't want to use a software for this, you can also use a data miner. But if you think about it, this actually works out cheaper. And I know you guys all love cheap and cheerful. So that is what we're going to show you guys today, okay? So a method to find emails at scale. Then once you have those emails, you can send those emails at scale with an email software. You know, you do some Google or research yourself, find an email software that will allow you to send emails at scale to personalize them, automate the follow-up and so on and so forth. And then basically, like I said, move your way through this flow. Okay, so what I'm going to show you in today's video is the start of the hybrid outreach system, or at least one of the three elements of the start of the hybrid outreach system, because obviously, you know, we've made an entire like plug and play system for this, but this is one of the core elements of it, okay? And that is finding emails at scale. So I'm gonna move my uh, little pen here and grab my mouse because I've been using this little pen um, to basically write the things down. So what we're gonna use for this is called ninjaleads.co. And the great thing about Ninja Leads is that we can use this for two, basically in two ways. What you can do is you can use the sales navigator, which will allow you to scrape emails from LinkedIn or you can use the local US business section of the dashboard, which will allow you to scrape uh, emails from businesses in the US, okay? Now, I've spoken to the owner of uh, Ninja Leads and they are actively working on expanding the local US businesses to UK, Europe, and so on and so forth. As of now, because this is a relatively new system, um, they're only using US for this and of course, Sales Navigator, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on Sales Navigator. Just wait for this to allow, oh, I actually need to log in first. Let me just do that quickly. Okay, there we go. Just waiting for that to load up again. There we go. So we, now we've got Sales Navigator, yeah? What we can do is we can type in a keyword. So for example, um, what did we do yesterday on the coaching program, um, interior design. So we do interior design. There are better ways of doing this. I'm just gonna quickly go through it. I wouldn't recommend just doing the one keyword, interior design. Um, but that is just, you know, for example, actually, let's just do dentist. Yeah, maybe dentist is a good one. So dentist, okay, um, dental hygiene. Actually, you know what we'll do? Just to make it a bit more interesting, we'll add dentist to the title. So title, dentist. Uh, dentist, that's fine. You can stack this as much as you want, dental hygienist, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna do this simple just for the sake of this example. Seniority level, we want the owner. Again, up to you, director, manager, you know, make it as in-depth as you want. Then, um, where is the country? There we go, geography, add location. United Kingdom or US, you know, whatever you want, it's up to you. Okay, so now the filter that we've added to Sales Navigator is people that have the dentist in the title are the owner of a company and are based in the UK. So we've got 448 results, search. Okay, as you can see, Dentist, TMJD Services, business owner, clinical director, principal dentist at Dental Suite, dentist at General Dentist Practice, dentist at Entrepreneur at My Great Dentist, and so on and so forth, okay? So everyone that has those filters. So basically, if we scrape this now, we've got 448 emails that we can send to, um, you know, or add to our email outreach blast, send the software, and then ask them, for, uh, you know, if it's okay to send them a quick video, okay? So if you're happy with your um, search, basically, you, know, you can do this for anything, right? You can do this for apparel, you can do this for coaches, um, you know, the, what else have you got? Um, you know, car dealerships, you've got uh, realtors, you know, it's completely up to you, whether it's lead gen or e-commerce, just think, what can I add to these filters to make it relevant to who I am targeting? So of course, you know, within e-commerce, are you focusing on supplement companies? Add supplements as a keyword. Are you focusing on fitness companies? You know, uh, fitness accessories, add the word fitness to the, key, to the keywords. Are you focused on apparel? Add apparel and so on and so forth, okay? So once you're happy with that, click on copy URL, go back to your dashboard, select the sales navigator, 
paste your URL here and give your list a name. So for example, um, what should we do? What, what did we do? We did dentist, right? So UK dentist demo list YouTube, okay? Then exclude personal emails. Do not exclude personal emails, of course. The more personal the email, the better, and click on launch, okay? This will take a couple of minutes, and then once you have that, oh, it's already started, which is great. It means the uh, software is actually sped up. It says it can take up to two hours. It depends on the size of the list, right? Our list contains 400 or 500 people, so it won't be that uh, big. If you want to you know, actually extract a list of thousands and thousands of people, then yes, it could take up to two hours. But as you can see, it's already running now, so it shouldn't take too long until this is finished. Okay, so we are back again. It took a few minutes, just slightly too long to keep it recording, so I just chopped up uh, this little video here. But that is uh, finally finished. Then we click on the little eye icon here. You can see all of the emails um, of all of the dentists that we found on uh, LinkedIn, so on the Sales Navigator. Then once you're happy with your list, you export to a CSV file, and then you've basically got the exact same thing, but then on uh, basically a CSV file, in this case, it's in numbers. So as you can see here, you've got an entire list of all of the uh, corporate emails, and then every now and again, you'll have a bunch with uh, personal emails as well. And like I said, you can now use this to upload into your mass email sender um, and then send them all an email saying, you know, ask them if it's okay to send them a quick video. If it is, you send the Loom video. The Loom video has the call to action to book a call and so on and so forth, okay? And that is basically how you can automate that email gathering uh, part of the hybrid outreach system because rather than you manually trying to find these emails, manually going through all these processes, just get something in this case like Ninja Leads, uh, a quick disclaimer, it's not a sponsored video or nothing like that, it's just software that we use. Um, and then from there, you know, once you've got all those emails, you send that blast. And like I said, don't do anything in your agency that a robot can do as well. Always think to yourself, okay, can I automate this? If not, then can I delegate this? If not, you know, is there a way to just eliminate this process entirely? And in this case, you can automate this because like I said, with Ninja Leads, you can just scrape all those emails either off Sales Navigator or um, you can actually use that local US business thing where it just scrapes off of Google. It's basically like what Mark to Magic used to do back in the day as well. Still does, but it's not as effective in my opinion. So this is what I highly recommend you guys look into. Um, in terms of the membership, what I'll do, because like I said, I am in contact with the owner, I will leave a link in the description box. Um, and then actually I'll leave it in the first comment. It'll be easier for me. So there's a link in the first comment which will allow you to have a free one-time trial search. But other than that, as you can see the bronze version, you can create 10 lists a day. So, you know, that entire list that I've got here, you can create 10 of them every single day for only $40. Now, that's what's that, that's like the equivalent of like buying lunch somewhere, you know, if you go for a fancy lunch or anything like that. Like $40, just think how much time and effort that will save if you just spend $40. And like I said, you can create 10 of those lists every single day, which let's face it, you're not gonna do you're not gonna do more than 10 every single day. So bronze is definitely all you need at this moment until you start actually scaling the agency, then by all means go for silver. I've got the silver plan as well, which I'm quite happy with. Um, but like I said, for forty dollars you can automate so much on the front end and just think all of those emails that you scrape, you only need one person, like one single person to go through this flow and you've turned that $40 into $1,000 or $1,500 and that's going to be recurring every single month that that client stays with you. Okay, so that is all I've got for today. Like I said, um, it will be in the first comments of this video where you can basically, you know, um, if you use the link, you can get a free trial search and you can scrape once for free. Uh, but highly recommend you guys look into the software to be fair. And like I said, this is part of the hybrid outreach system. So what we do is we've got this as one part of like a three to four part flow, depends on how extensive you want this hybrid outreach system to be. Um, all of this gets explained in my coaching program. If you're interested in that, um, check out the links in the description box. You can book a call with me or someone on my team. We can see if you're a right fit for the program because we do actually want to work with action takers no tire kickers, no people beating around the bush. People that want to take massive action, we want to personally help them, you know, hit six figures with their agency or at least take them to the next level so that they have the knowledge to reach six figures within their agency. If that sounds like something you're interested in, click on that link to book a call and we can see 
if you are a right fit for the program and if there's still a spot left in the program because it is personal mentorship, personal coaching. So I can't take on a massive uh, amount of people with this. But what we do, so another quick little bonus tip, the little secret sauce here, what we can also do, which is also another part of the hybrid outreach system, is upload that email list into Facebook and retarget those people that we email. So they get our emails and they also receive, or they basically see our advertisements. So we create this little spider's web in our little part of the internet. And in their eyes, they're seeing us everywhere. They're getting our emails, you know, they're clicking on our stuff, that they're seeing our advertisements. You know, we are everywhere in the eyes of, in this case, our niche, okay? So that's just one of the little uh, bonus tips that I'll give you guys on this video. Um, just to show you guys, you know, what is possible with all of this. And um, like I said, with the hybrid that system, we will basically just plug the entire system into your agency and you'll have everything you need. You'll have access to all of the softwares that we use. Um, I'll show you guys at scale how to do this, how to personalize those emails, how to automate the follow-up process, how you can get people to you know, record those new videos for you if that is part of your flow, and how you can basically make it predictable for yourself how much time and or effort and or money it's costing you to get a client so that you know your numbers and then from there you can scale the business. Because if you know on average it's costing you, like I said, X amount of hours, X amount of outreach, X amount of time, X amount of money to get a client and you know how much a client's worth on average, you know how much you can spend and how easily you can scale. Same goes for the ads. If you know, okay, on average it costs me about 400 euros to get a thousand euro a month client, the client stays with me on average of um, four months, so you're literally 10x in your return on investment. Once you know those numbers, scaling to the moon is very, very easy and very, very predictable. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna know more about any Thing to do with social media marketing uh, feel free to check out my free facebook group which has a free beginner course which explains you know, how we can get started with social media marketing if you already have everything up and running and you want to take it to the next level feel free to contact me we can see if the mentorship slash coaching program is something for you if you are just here want the freebies then by all means click on that link in the comments and uh, use that free email scrape and freebie trial version of a Ninja Leads. If you are serious about your agency, then I would highly recommend you look into the paid version of Ninja Leads. The bronze package is, uh, especially when you're starting out, is all you need. So feel free to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and see you all in the next video.